Hey everybody, the Monday after, okay? You know who I'm highlighting today? It is Arthur Millett. You call him Arthur, I call him lunch money. You know why I call him lunch money? Have you ever seen him out on the field? The man is angry. Someone stole his lunch money, okay? He's mad, he's hungry, he's fierce, and the man went out there and got his pick on Saturday. Shout out to Arthur Millett. So proud of you, been rooting for you all season, and I got the receipts to prove it. I'm not just talking. I got receipts to back it up. <laughs> Shout out to Alex Highsmith. I will get another stat. Cam Sutton, Mika Fitzpatrick, Cam Hayward. Okay, the vet out there killing it on defense. The defense went out there and only allowed 10 points. And I could not be prouder of that defense. Shout out to them. OK, <laughs> so moving on to the game, I know it was an emotional game. There was a lot on the line. Um, the Steelers out there playing for Franco Harris, um, not just it being the 50 year anniversary of the Immaculate Reception, but the passing of Franco Harris. I think some of you guys forgot forgot that this was the celebration for the Immaculate Reception and the retiring of Franco's jersey. This wasn't a memorial for Franco Harris, okay? That is a separate occasion. So I think some people got lost in the sauce there a little bit. I understand the untimely passing of him, but let's be honest and, and give kudos to the Steelers organization. They were there to celebrate the anniversary of the Immaculate Reception and the retiring of Franco Harris's jersey, okay? Um, but again, emotional game, crazy game, and I think it probably went the exact way it was supposed to go, given the circumstances. <laughs> the game was a mess. Um, but I will have to give credit to Kenny Pickett. I was a little confused. I thought the execution wasn't going well for offense. Um, you know, Boswell, unfortunately, given the weather conditions, it was cold. It was windy. He was missing kicks. But I give it that last drive because I knew... The second to last drive wasn't going to go my our way. I just had a feeling. I was like, this ain't going to be good. Even though we got the interception. I mean, we got the ball back. It just didn't feel like, ugh. So um, that last drive, to and to know that Kenny Pickett was kind of in control of that offense, calling the plays, I could not be prouder um, of that moment. And, and before you know what Tomlin said, it was a moment for that defense to really kind of grow and be men and, and not the young guys in the league on offense. So I'm proud. I'm proud of that offense and figuring out a way to get it done. Um, Pat Fryermuth. Okay. Hello. Use him. I don't know what you, I don't know how you go a whole game without using him and then realizing his potential here. I, I understand it, but I just don't understand you not using him the game before at all. Um, it, it, that, I understand you won that game, but I just, I, my mind still can't comprehend it. So you saw what he's capable of. I expect you to do that again with Baltimore, um, the, the week come this week coming up, but overall, I mean, just a good team win. And I'm just so proud for Arthur Millette. I'm so proud for Cam Sutton and this, the, the, the irony in him catching that interception with 32 seconds left on the clock at the 32 yard line, as they say. Um, it just lets you know that Franco was there with the team. And I couldn't be happier. Like, what else is there to say? Great team win. I'm so proud. We have Baltimore in Baltimore. If you're in Baltimore, you're coming to the game. Please come see me. Me and my friend Rita will be at NOLA Seafood in Baltimore, 36 East Cross Street. At 36 East Cross Street, Baltimore, Maryland, at NOLA, 1 to 4 p.m., December 31st. Come hang out with us. Come do a meet and greet with Steelers and Ravens fans. Can't wait to see you there. Bye. Or I should say, here we go.